Hello everybody, welcome to The Noble Way. Today we are at SeaWorld for the Seven Seas Food Festival and we're gonna ride some rides today. Uh, we haven't ridden any rides so far, any of the times we've come to SeaWorld. This will be our first time riding some rides. I don't even know what we're gonna ride, but we're gonna try and ride something. Uh, so I'm pumped about it, are you pumped? All right, so let's get going, let's try some food, let's get some rides, let's see if we can see any animals. Should be a lot of fun. stop today is at the Caribbean market um, we came here last time and we got the jerk chicken slider and I wanted to try the rum cake that they had there and they didn't have it like we were like what they don't have it I was so wanting to try the rum cake so they had it tonight so we stopped in because it's really right at the very entrance so we stopped and they actually had it It's $7.99 but we didn't have to pay $7.99 because we had our awesome food festival pass here that we bought our little sampler thing so we're starting to make some some dents here in our in our numbers, but um, I'm excited. So it looks pretty good. It was $7.99. Again, I don't know if it's worth using the sampler pass on the cheaper items because we could have gotten like an $11 slider and it would have been a whole punch. And this was only $7.99 and it was a whole punch. So I feel like if you're smart, you want to go around and look at the more expensive foods and use it for the whole punch and then pay for the cheaper stuff. And the same thing we found last time with the drinks, you get a small portion size of the drink. It's not really worth it. Um, so you're better off buying your cocktails instead of using the pass. But we got it. And it's a, it's a Caribbean spiced rum cake. And it says it is it has a rum glaze on it as well. So I want to try it. Look at it. I mean, it looks pretty good. Uh, she literally just pulled it out of the fridge um, and then put some whipped cream on it. So it was already pre-made. Um, we'll see if it's any good. See what you think. It's bland. Is it? Yeah, I think so. And the and the cake is really crumbly. I mean, it's just bland. I don't really taste anything in the whipped cream. I think the cake has some cinnamon in it or something. I taste a little bit of cinnamon and or spice or something. Um, but overall, it's pretty bland. And it's like, I think because the whipped cream on top is lukewarm. Like it doesn't taste like that was in the fridge to me. It tastes lukewarm. So. Eh. Yeah, I honestly don't think it's very good. Um, it doesn't, it just tastes like cinnamon. That's what I said. It tastes like cinnamon. Yeah, I don't, it has no other flavor. So I guess like it tastes kind of like a spiced rum. Yeah. Because rum tastes kind of cinnamony, but. Does it? Like spiced rum. It just, but, but to me, it really, I just don't. There's not really any sweetness to it at all. It's just, it is kind of bland. It just tastes like cinnamon. Yeah. It is a little bit cold, but it's kind of loop cold. It's not very cold. Honestly, I, don't really, I think it's it's really not good. Yeah, I'm not a fan. It. Yeah, it's a pass. <laughs> so um, I feel like that was kind of a wasted whole punch because it wasn't really, it didn't taste good. It yeah. was cheaper than some of the other food. The slider there was way better than this spice rum cake. Yeah, it's not my favorite. It's definitely a pass. Yeah, don't waste your um, money or a whole punch on that. Not at all. It, it definitely passed that by. Oh, well, well, so 0 for 1 today. Let's keep on cruising. I thought today was going to be the day. Uh, they have this interesting cheesecake, like, ice cream cone thing. It's like a waffle cone with, like, scoops of cheesecake on it. So they have, like, a rainbow cheesecake. They have a bananas foster cheesecake. And then a white chocolate raspberry cheesecake in a waffle cone, which sounds really good to me. I keep wanting to try it. Every time we've come here, I've looked at it, but either the line's been too long um, or we just haven't had enough time. And so I thought, today's the day. I'm definitely going to stop. First thing, it's right there kind of when you walk in, and I was going to get it. So we got in line, got all the way up to the front, and ordered, I think I was going to get, I ordered the Bananas Foster. And they were like, oh, sorry, all we have is plain cheesecake. 
I was like, okay. what? Plain cheesecake isn't even on the menu. So like, I don't even know, A, why they had plain cheesecake. And two, I don't know why that's all they had left. So I was like, eh, well, I guess this is going to have to be another day. So, wah, wah. But, um, so far, there's been, like, since... So far, every time we've been here, they've been out of stuff. So at one or two of the booths, um, different places, they've been out of stuff. So it's feeling a little bit like a trend. It's a little worrisome. But we'll see if it keeps up or not. I think we're going to walk our way over to Icebreaker, which is the brand new roller coaster. We've never ridden it before. It's only been out for a little while. And this will be our first time ever riding it. So that's kind of exciting. And it says it only has like a 10 minute wait. So maybe we'll just get to hop right on it. Maybe the wait time's wrong, but I don't know. It says 10 minutes, so we'll find out. Um, but it looks kind of cool. It looks like it might go forward and backward. So I don't know. We'll find out. the Mediterranean market so another booth Mediterranean food a couple of food items look pretty decent to us or at least jumped out at me um, and the first one is now there was actually three things on the menu we didn't get the cheaper one they had a berry panna cotta which it was like $7.99 I think and so we were like we're not gonna get that because it's only $7.99 everything else is like $10.99 and $9.99 so I'm, I'm like we're not we're, we're learning we're learning what not to spend our whole punches on so we'll get the berry panna cotta another day um, but the first thing that we got was the lamb chop. I don't know if it's going to be any good. I'm not um, looking forward to that one. So let me show the lamb chop. Uh, it looks a little small for a lamb chop. Definitely looks a lot smaller than the lamb chop or the, uh, the big honking piece of meat that we had at, was it Epcot or was it at Universal? I can't even remember. I think it was Epcot. It was Epcot. The, um, the Seasons booth, but it had like a big honking piece of meat, um, but there also wasn't a lot, it was a lot of fat. Yeah. So I don't know if this will be, and this is lamb, I don't know if it'll be meatier, but it looks pretty good. It says it's a grilled lamb chop with rosemary, uh, garlic, and mint. Mint makes sense because mint with lamb, that's pretty popular, but this is ten ninety nine, And honestly, it looks pretty small. It's like a very small lamb chop and then just like a few potatoes. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be any good. Let's just do the potatoes first. That's an easy thing. Get them out of the way. They're cold. Yeah. 
stop by the Polynesian market and our seven They're ice cold. Food festival. And I don't want my potatoes cold. And don't really have any flavor. Yeah. Just like no seasoning. Yeah. Um, I'm not even going to be fancy with this thing. I'm not going to cut it up. I'm just going to bite it right off. Give it a little ripsy here. Look at that thing. It's like dripping some juice. So we'll see. I don't know if it's going to be... I don't know how to do this. Yeah, try it. It's um, it's cooked all the way through. It's not coming through, but I'm gonna try the burnt part. Just kidding. That's fat. Not trying that. I mean, it's really tough. Yeah, I mean, it's like super well done. I feel like um, it's not rare at all. It's literally, it's very tough. But I don't mind it. Yeah. I don't mind it. Because I pre prefer that. I wouldn't have eaten it. Sorry, there's a bug on my leg. I wouldn't have eaten it if um, it, it was, was like rare. <laughs> but I still don't think it's worth the money. It's tiny and it's like 10.99, and the potatoes don't have any flavor. And it, most people don't like tough meat, so I would say don't get that. Yeah. Um. And the potatoes are cold. I don't mind it. The flavor is not too bad. It, it tastes um burnt. Yeah. It's got like a definite burnt charcoal flavor to it. Mm -hmm. it it's kind of salty. There's some sort of cheese on it that's not too bad. Um, but it's very small. Very. Um, it's very overcooked. And the potatoes are busted. I just freaked out because I heard noises behind me and there was a squirrel jumping. <laughs> like literally I was right behind it was me. An alligator. Um, I was not hoping that it was an alligator. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's just, it's not worth it. $10.99, it's one of the more expensive things that we've gotten here, and it's not worth it at all. So pass on that. The other item we got is the hummus and garlic kettle chips, which I love kettle chips and I love hummus, so. Looks good to me. I'm not a huge fan of hummus. Yeah, he's not. But it's got, it says garlic chips. Yeah. And then it said uh, a chili oil. You can see there's kind of a wetness on it, some yeah. sort of chili oil. And what is that? Parmesan, you think? Like shaped Parmesan? Yeah, I think it said it on one of the signs up there. Yeah, I don't know. Parmesan garlic ch chips. So, I'm pretty sure it is. All right. I like it. But I'm not hard to please with hummus and kettle chips, so to me it's good. Chili oil is pretty good. It kind of tastes like melted butter. It's like salty. It really just tastes like butter, like salted butter. It tastes a lot of garlic in that bite. And garlic. And then the hummus, I think, is actually pretty decent. Is it just standard hummus, but just with garlic kettle chips? I like it. I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, I'm digging it. Um, I'm eating it. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of hummus, but this is actually pretty good. I think it's because hummus is kind of bland usually. I don't really, I just don't feel like it has a lot of flavor, but with these chips, with all the garlic and the chili oil and the little Parmesan and whatever the green stuff is. So what do you think the green stuff is? I don't know, parsley? Chives. Chives maybe? Um, and it's $9.99? I think it's pretty good. It's worth it. It's good. It's better than anything. It's better than the other thing for sure. And it's a dollar cheaper. So far, it's one of the best things that we've had. All right, so wrapping it up. Digging the hummus. Not so much the lamb chop. We'll come back for the panna cotta when we don't have any more bubbles left and we have to pay for it because it's a little cheaper. Mediterranean, I don't know. One for two. Let's keep going. Let's keep on cruising. I want to see some shows. I want to see some fish, some sharks. See what else we can find here. We walked by one of the uh, the fire pits where they're actually making all the steaks and everything. It looks so good, um, where they cook up the steaks and the lamb chop and everything. Uh, that one particular one was there was a Brazilian steak um, at that booth right there that I really want to try next time we come here. It looks pretty good, but man, it smelled good. Yum. Looks like Infinity Falls is closed. Um, I'm not sure why. It's pretty hot out today, so. I don't know if it's just busted or they only open it on certain days or if it's at a certain temperature, but it's hot. Huh.
abuelita está fuego. She's got it, she's on fire. Let's go, come on. Bien caliente aquí. And here you go, yeah. Somebody's screwing. I love it, come on. We're headed now to Mako. Uh, never ridden Mako before. It'll be a totally new ride for us again. This will be, if we get all of our rides in today, that's going to be two rides that we've never ridden before. Um, so I'm pumped about it. We tried to go over there earlier and it was closed. It was broke down. It said it was only a 10 minute wait. We walked over there and then it was closed. And then it reopened right away and then it was a 45 minute wait. So I was like, I don't know. I think we should just come back later because I don't think we should wait 45 minutes when it said it was only a 10 minute wait like a few minutes ago. So maybe once the rush, once it reopened goes away, it'll be 10 minutes. So now it says 10 minutes again. So let's head over there. Um, although we do have a free um, skip the queue pass because our annual pass that we have gives us, wow, the music's really loud here. There's a lot of music here. Um, so like as we're walking, it's like, it's quiet and then it's like really loud and quiet and really loud. Anyway. So we have a skip the line pass um, because we get one free skip the line pass with our annual pass every day we come here. So every day we can ride one ride no matter how long the wait is. We don't have to wait, so that's kind of a good deal. I'm glad we got that pass. First time riding Mako. What did you think? I liked it. It made me a little nauseous, though. It was way better than Icebreaker. It was definitely a lot more intense than Icebreaker, for sure. I was not, didn't know what to expect. It reminded me a little bit of Diamondback at Kings Island, back home in Cincinnati. Um, it was kind of like that, but it was definitely intense. That first hill, I mean, you are up there, and like you were looking straight down, and I was getting a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I was um, getting nervous. I, I was afraid my earrings were gonna fall out. Yeah, she was like this the whole ride. She was like holding her ears. I I thought it was a lot of fun though. Um, I feel like my restraint barely came down. Like there was too much space between my. So like I thought I was actually like I would kept coming out of my seat, which is usually okay, but like I actually felt like I could fly out. I was actually a little concerned for a minute. Um, which is unusual, but it was definitely a lot more intense ride. It's a, it's definitely a a, uh, a big person ride. Like it was, um, it's not a kid ride. It's an adult ride. I mean, kids can ride it, of course, but it was, it didn't feel like it was like a kiddie ride, which is kind of how I felt Icebreaker was. I loved it though, and we we had to wait literally zero minutes. I think on the video I even got it. Like we literally walked 
straight to the line into the front row without even having to wait yeah. at all. So that was awesome. We're walking by the Sky Tower right there, um, and I noticed that it's closed. And I was like, man, there's a lot of stuff closed today. Like Kraken is closed, the Sky Tower is closed, uh, Infinity Falls is closed. And I was like, what's going on? But it is very windy today. Yeah. And then we just, and, we ju and I, I don't know if you can see it or hear it, but there, there's these giant like metal cables that go all the way up the Sky Tower. And when we first came in, they were like, they just keep banging against the tower. Do you hear it? It's not very loud right now, but it, yeah, but it was louder before. And it's like they're banging. Apparently it's the wind. And there's a sign that I just saw that says, the Sky Tower is closed due to high winds. I wonder if the Kraken's also closed because of high winds. So if you're planning on wanting to ride on the Sky Tower, just know that if it's windy out that day, you might be out of luck. What a fun day we had at the Seven Seas Food Festival. Once again, a great time at SeaWorld. And we rode a few rides. I was so happy with the rides, actually. Icebreaker was a little lame. A little, it was a little weak, I'll be honest. Yeah. Um, but Mako was awesome. Mm -hmm. And the food was okay today. Oh, it yes. wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like a great success with the food. But um, looking forward to coming back. We have so many other food items to try. I am excited to come back. And we have a couple rides we haven't ridden still today. Even to this day, we haven't ridden. So uh, we'll be back. But again, thanks for joining us. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Until tomorrow, the noble way. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.